What's up YouTube fam, 609 Collector here, coming at you with another video. This time I'm going to be gluing a Marvel Legends figure back together. See a bunch of videos where I take them apart, now I'm going to glue it back together. Alright, so this here is Pizza Spidey. Pizza Spidey has been cracked. He's been, you know, done whatever to. Um, only thing different from this than the original is I had to switch out to the centerpiece uh from Iceman because Iceman and Pizza Spidey share the same body mold the only thing is when I took Spider-Man apart I have no idea what I did with the center so I'm gonna get uncracking I'm gonna use this Gorilla Glue it doesn't matter what kind of glue you use just use super glue I like glue that's not too uh not too runny now where I'm gonna put the glue I'm gonna put the glue along here. Uh, there is no peg hole in the bottom, is there? Ah, uh, there is a peg hole in the bottom. So if we can focus on this piece, I'm gonna put glue to catch that there. So that little nub in there, I'm gonna put glue in there. I'm gonna put glue in these little peg holes and then I'm gonna glue around the edge here. I'm gonna get some glue around the edges here, around the edges, basically all over the seam. I'm going to try avoid getting it on the legs. I guess you could put glue on here. I say not to, but this doesn't really rotate. So, F it. If you want to glue that, you can, but I don't need to. I'm just going to go all around the seams and put a couple dabs, dabby dabs, in the peg hole there. So, I'm going to turn it over, and I'm just going to shake my glue until it gets to the top. And make it happen. Come on, work for that. I'm going to try to avoid getting it on the white part because that does need to rotate. Because it doesn't rotate in the um, upper body. It only rotates in the lower body. So let's shake the glue out. I smell you. You're not working for me. There we go. A couple little droplets of the drop drop. You're going to be out there and some of you are asking, how much glue do you use? What's the percentage? I need the exact amount. Eh, just enough. I'm not going to apply it with like a pin or nothing crazy. Um, I Like I said, I don't like runny glue because if it's too runny, it kind of goes everywhere. I like thicker glues that kind of um, almost more like a gel. All right. So, once I got that, I'll put his legs in here. I already feel it getting tacky. So, I'll do that. A little excess glue, I'll just wipe away with my hand. Why? Because glue's easier to get off your hands than off the figure when it's dry. Use my clamp. And I'll just squeeze on that spidey butt, but so the seam line is closed. You can keep rotating your legs if you want. Make sure you don't have any glue on the tack tack. And I'll close the bottom down there. At the top, I still see a little gap here. So maybe I will unclamp and maybe I'll move here. And I'll clamp there until I get the tightest. This side's all right. Now for this side, I might just add a little bit of glue and uh, specifically squeeze on that side. Uh, nah, it's just going to be a little gapped from the crack process. It's fine. I can already see that this little, that little blue spot is probably a fracture point. So there's probably glue getting in there, meeting. I'm really going to trip on it. So I know this is going to be pretty solid. And I know that because the biggest worry spot for me would be here. Sometimes, like, if this doesn't connect, that would be, uh, you know, a problem point. Not so much on this because the leg articulation doesn't really uh, hinder in the front. But on older ones, when you'd be moving the legs, you'd be getting problems. But, uh, spidey's nice and tight. There's no real hindrance, so I don't have to worry about moving the leg and having it push this out or nothing. We're gonna leave that how long? Just long enough. It's freaking super glue. 
Maybe I'll fast forward. Not really super. Okay. All right. Feels pretty sturdy to me. Papa dog. I'm going to put this in there. Make sure that's good. Slot this in. Same dealie. Now, the post may have broken. I'm not going to do the bottom down there. If you want, I can do the sides here. Because all of this up here is stationary. Because the way this slots in. Remember we talked about it in the previous video. Because these are square and these slot in. It's not going to matter. For this, the rotation comes in the hips. Down here. And it's glued. Because this isn't separating the body at all. Even this over here is holding in. If it really bothers you, you can put some milliput on that. Or maybe put a couple of dabs of glue and like, you know, push it in there. That's what I could do. You know, I feel it's separating a little bit, so. I'll put a couple of dabs of glue right on the outside. And I'll use my little flathead screwdriver just to push them in. Come to daddy. Again, I don't, it takes a little while just because the glue I'm using isn't a real runny kind of glue. Okay. Just got a little bit on there, a little smear. I'm going to store my freaking glue upside down. So I don't have to keep doing that stupid, crazy dab dab. And for this, I'm just going to make sure it's smeared in there pretty good. Smear it on the top. And really squeeze this side here. All right. Again. Now I'm going to pause and let this sit for maybe like a Oh my God, this video is already seven minutes in. Damn. <sighs> All right, let me pause for a minute. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I actually squeezed so hard, he popped out the clamp. On the thing, it says you squeeze together for 10 to 45 seconds. Um, I'm confident this will hold. Again, you know, you can you can leave it glued for as long as you want. 10 to 45 seconds, I paused for a minute, gave an extra minute. You can glue it for five minutes and it's come back. You know, whatever makes you feel comfortable with your glue. Now, here's something. <laughs> Make sure you're putting this on properly because the last thing you want to do is uh has spidey facing the wrong way you don't want his back over here so you don't want his abs in the back abs in the front the back how it's gonna settle not on that make sure this is in properly okay the right way okay and then make sure that this is aligned in the slot properly. Okay. I'm not going to do anything near the base because I don't want to um, get it stuck. Just, you know, when you glue things, you can always move it around too. Just to make sure that nothing is getting stuck where it doesn't need to be. So. I'm going to do the top here. A little bit of glue in that corner. I'm put a little bit of glue in this corner. And then I'm going to come down here. And I'm just going to work around the seam. Remember, any glue I get on the outside, I'm just going to wipe off my fingers. Because super glue in your hand is going to be easier to get away than when it dries in the plastic. So when it dries in the plastic, it can leave a white film. And be... Kind of hideous. Alright, I tried using super glue to stiffen a joint. I think it was this figure specifically. I tried putting super glue on the uh, on the joints. This are the post holes, so I'll make sure I get that because I know it's a contact point. But I tried putting super glue on the joints to stiffen them, and it didn't turn out too well. For that, you can use, like, look, I'm sticking clear nail polish or something. And wipe off that excess glue just because I don't want the film on there. 
Gonna use my Irwin clamp again. Clamp I got at Home Depot. You can probably find a clamp like this at Walmart. I want to be strong because I don't want it on either side. So this side's giving me guff. Here I'm not getting a proper. I'm not getting the greatest seal on this side. But I got a little tighter with my hand. So I'm going to put my clamp on this side. And squeeze because I feel like this is the side that's going to need the most help. Now if I were to dry fit this before. So now we'll see these gaps. You know. So what I would recommend. Is that you're seeing someone do it. And you're like oh that's gapped up. Seeing that as the gap, you can dry fit this. I'm actually going to recommend you dry fit this. I don't really care because Spider Man's be getting abused from me. But put it together and see if you have anything like this or any cracks you're going to see. Same thing on this side. Go through and clean it up, remove any burrs. I don't want to have that on the top. So when we get to the top, we're going to do that again. We're gonna, actually I'm gonna leave this off to the side. Let's dry fit the top. Let's clean it up. I already know that the, it's loose up around the head. That happens. Just from peeling the uh, figure apart, you usually get, you know, gaps in the head. So we'll do the top and I'll, uh, you know, separately clamp that. But I'm going to check the sides now and make sure that my sides are tight. So that when I'm uh, putting this together, I don't have any more of those problems. BRB. I'm going to see if I can use two clamps at once. I have this. This is a C clamp. Again, something you get at the Home Depot. I don't. This is like a harder metal side. And this is kind of like a, almost like a soft rubbery kind of spot on there. Okay, how are we looking, Spidey? No sticky stick. All goody good. All right. If I can't use two clamps at once, that's fine. I'll just uh, do it separately. So again, I'm not gonna do any. This this doesn't this isn't a contact point anyway around the arms. Nor am I going to do here, because this is where the butterfly joint gets its motion. But I'll do up here around the neck. Both sides. And I'm going to get all of this in here. All of this can be glued, because this doesn't move. This is made square so that this fits in there snugly. The ratchet comes from the um, cog work. Little piece inside. Now, there's a contact point here and here as well. Not all figures have it, but these have two posts there so I'll also do those to help me squeeze it so I'm gonna try and set Spidey's arm damn glues upside down again again now uh, once I have it together I'll move the arms just to make sure that I'm not Gluing them stiff, even if I get a little glue on it, it's fine. Um, if the joints are moving while the glue is drying, the little bit of glue that may be on there, you shouldn't have an issue. But you don't want too much glue on a joint because you don't want to fuse it. So I'm going to hit up all this on the inside. I'm going to go ham. I get that there. I'm going to jump to the other side. Oh, we're too high. All right, I'm going to do this side here. Right. Now, it doesn't look a lot of glue because it's not. But basically, I'm getting all the contact points. I'm trying to get a little on the side there without getting any on that bottom of that butterfly joint. I'm going to move to the top. All right.
this is the part where you would have like the generic Facebook music coming in. But I'm talking to you. You gotta listen. You know, if I feel like there's a little garbage I can do like I did for the side and uh just throw a little one there. And don't forget my posts. I got posts like Malone. So, I'm going to fit his lower torso in. I'm going to rest it here because I don't want it moving. I'm trying to do this. There we go. And you can see some glisten. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove any excess glue with my finger. I'm not trying to smear it on. Just trying to rub it off. And each time, I'm just going to use clean parts of my finger where I can find a clean part of my finger just because I don't want to smear glue I'm gonna use this piece down here I'm gonna clamp the bottom all right that's already nice and secure and since I have my second clamp I'm just you know lucky like that I have a second clamp let's see if I can work this I might have to reverse them, but we'll see. Because the other one might have a better grip. Let's see what you got. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Put this clamp up top. I feel like this one just gets better grips, you know. It's better because it uh gets it more flexible where it can reach, where it can hold. This little C clamp is kind of rigid. It'll do the trick, just not as well. So I'll just clamp the bottom like that. I'll do the top like this. Cause like I said, the top is the your trouble area. Feel a little tackiness. I'm gonna keep wiping away some glue here. Just enough so it's snug. I'm not trying to crack it or nothing. And I'm gonna leave that sit. So we're gonna do. That's just me making funny noises. Blah 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 blah. Lights off. Blah 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 blah. Um, that's pretty much it. It's taken me about twenty minutes to show you <laughs> about five minutes of work. Um, because I'm explaining. Because I'm trying to be cautious. Because I'm trying to do all that. Again, your super glue. Don't go specifically looking for like. Oh my god, what kind? I've used glue from the dollar store. Um. The one at the dollar store said like a uh, gel and regular. Again, I like gel super glues because yeah, it's a punk to get out. You saw me with the struggle bus trying to get it out. But the benefit of that is you don't have to worry about getting too much. You know, it's never gonna explode on you. A little bit better control. Um, I don't really clean the nozzles, but if you clean the nozzle, you might have a better time of it. I'm gonna move the arms, make sure that the butterfly joints are working. Still getting motion. Still getting motion. I got a pretty decent, pretty decent seal up around the neck. That's just um for again those posts inside. The one at the base of the neck is really a pain because it's gonna hold. So you really are like as you're pulling out the bottom, that's kind of like warping this part here. So you're really getting a stretch there. But that's it. All right. All right. So while the rest of it's sealing up great, I'm noticing a gap here. And the thing is, because this is a little wing here, the top of the arm of the butterfly joint, and because it's so small and it's been separated, it really doesn't have much to hold it together. The other side came together a little bit nicer. Not a real problem there. But for this, I put a little glue on there. Pushed it in with my screwdriver, and I'm going to hold this side by hand. Alright. So I'm just going to give that one the 
the personal touch. I'm going to hold it by hand and give it like a minute or two, you know, until I'm satisfied with it. All right. So he's back together. Um, recommend you keep a little water on you. I am like, oh, just wipe it off with your finger. But, you know, dab a little water. Just keep yourself clean as you're going through. I'm going to recommend that as well. And one thing I'm coming across, while I do have all my articulation, what's going to differ between this and other types of figures, something I'm realizing now, is that butterfly joints are, they offer you much more articulation. But I'm just going to give you the little caution here. This, I'm going to reclamp this and let it sit a little bit longer after I'm finished with the video, just until the glue fully dries. But because of the butterfly joints and you only have such a small little area out here, this is a little bit harder to clamp. So I did have to, you know, use my hands to hold it in, you know, longer to the glue set a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to put the clamp not on straight because this is going to stop me. I'm going to put the clamp on an angle. I'm going to put it on this corner here and the back corner. I'm going to squeeze the clamp. See how your glue's drying a little white. I'm going to scrape that away. And even though, you know, the glue will come off your hands, you want to keep your hands clean. Because what I ended up doing, I've got a little glue residue. So I have to wipe Spidey off. So, you know, after you're going to wipe your little edges, just keep your hands clean. All right. So wipe that on my jeans. Because, yeah, sure, it'll come off your skin, but it'll definitely come off your skin under your figure. But that's pretty much it, you know. Again, you get this here. If you want to avoid spots like this, dry fit your figures and uh, clean off any little burrs you may have. But if you're going to sculpt and putty over this anyway, it doesn't matter. For that, you could hit that little middle putt, just a tiny little bit of middle putt, sand that down, you'd be Gucci. Same thing up here. But uh, I still have all my articulation. A regular figure, though... Do I have a regular figure? Lord Zed, come be my assistant. Lord Zed, you see, has much more surface area because his butterfly joint is like, it's there, but he's got way more neck up there. A solid figure like Apocalypse would have this whole shoulder, you know, from the tip to top, the whole thing, and you could really clamp there to get a solid crunch into him. So butterfly joint gave me a little bit. A little bit of a uh, blob, but I'm going to put this on a little angle, like I said, and squeeze it until it closes this up. And then I'm just going to put this down and let this sit. Mm. I'm going to let this sit. I don't know. Maybe like, well, I'm just actually going to let it sit forever because I don't really care. I'm not really coming back to it anytime soon. But there we go. Yeah, I'm going to come clean it up a little later, I guess, but I don't really care. If I were going to paint this, it is what it is. If I wanted it to be spidey, then yeah, take a little extra time. Be very meticulous. If you're not painting this, then I would recommend getting um, some way to apply your glue very carefully. Use like maybe a needle point or maybe the tip of my flathead screwdriver. I was very sloppy in this regard. Just because I want you to see it's not super hard putting it back together. And it will hold once all your glue dries. And uh, I don't, you know, I never try to make things super perfect because this is just how it is sometimes. Um, this isn't a project I'm going to work on. If it wasn't, I'd be a lot more meticulous about it. I'd clean it up dry fit it real tight before I put it back together and I'd be a little more careful with my glue applications if I weren't going to paint this but uh you know if you're not going to paint it maybe you don't have the paint so maybe you just want to do a repair for something that broke um then just be careful with your glue application but for me I'm just showing you that's all you really need to do just hit the seams to close it back up you see uh what to look out for what happens and now you know, because you're like, ah, if you're kind of, a lot of people respond or comment on my videos that they appreciate it because they didn't know where to start. They weren't kind of sure. So now you can see, you can see what can happen. You'll see uh, what works. Uh, you'll see what could have been done a little bit better. Again, like I said, nothing really crazy. Just there are certain little areas. Spider-Man's got such a small section here that, you know, it it's just gonna be a little bit of a pain to close until the glue uh, dries maybe you can get really good glue meant for plastics 
This is just generic super glue. So, you know, there's different things out there. I never really go and say, hey, Home Depot, what do you have specifically for plastics? But maybe if you get a really good fast drying glue, that might help you as well. Um, but that's it. That's just like the basics of gluing. Putting your figure back together. And except for, like I said, really having the struggle up here because cracking this when you're pulling this out and this wants to stay together it does warp a little bit so when you put it back this wants to stretch a little bit that if you really want to get it back maybe you could lose a little hot water and try to mold it back before you glued it but again i'm just kind of going through this real quick because just snapping it back together for you if i were going to do a project like i said i could milliput that and go over and paint it but i'm not doing anything with this spider-man I used to have like a dozen of these. This is probably my last pizza spidey and I take it apart for your entertainment. But again, please like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, you can put them down in the comment section. Or you can hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Thanks a lot. 609 Customs. Later. Wait, I'm not 609 Customs anymore. I'm 609 Collector.